my friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And today we're talking about eyebrows. If you saw on my thumbnail, you know it's about eyebrows today. And anybody who's following me for a while know that eyebrows are the bane of my life. <laughs> I can never get it quite right. Um, I've got four products that we can do our eyebrows with. I've purposely come on today, I haven't got my eyebrows on. And... I've got no eyeshadow on, which I did purposely because I think if I don't wear eyeshadow, you will be able to see my brows a little bit better. I just wanted the blank canvas for my eyebrows. So I want to share the four things with you. Um, mostly it's blonde. If I can get blonde, I do, but it can't be a very light blonde because although I'm blonde, it's out of a bottle. <laughs> Although I'm blonde, um, my when I went grey, my eyebrows didn't. Now, if you look closely at my eyebrows, can you see that they're still quite dark? They didn't go grey. However, there's very little grows back here. A little bit has more than used to. Can you see? A little bit has more than used to. But I overplucked, like lots of people my age, lots of us, didn't we? We overplucked in the 70s and, and the 80s, and there is more so the 80s, I think. And the results are no eyebrows grow there. So I want to share with you the things that I do for my eyebrows. So always, I would say, whatever you're using, always have. An applicator brush with a spoolie. This one is, um, is this a Bonjour Bar one? No, this is a Morphe one. So it's a brush one end and the spoolie the other end. Even if you put on a pencil or whatever, I think you, I think you get a more natural look if you you know brush it through. So I'm going to start with the traditional pencil. Um, I haven't put any makeup on, I believe I said I haven't put any shadow on because I wanted my brow to show as much as possible for you. I didn't want it to be distracted by, you know, some eyeshadow. So I've got my makeup on and mascara, liner and so forth, but I haven't got any eyeshadow on so that you can see the full effect. So let's see, let's see this one. Let's get a little bit closer. And this one is... A pencil. This is the Essence pencil. I like it a lot. A super, super pencil. Can you see that there, guys? Essence. I like Essence products quite a lot. So we don't want to put too much off because the amount I've snap, snap, snap doing that is terrible. So <laughs> I'm going to put that down. And then I hold my brow, not tugging at my eyes. I hold my brow. I normally do this in a much bigger mirror. We pull the silly face that we pull <laughs> when we do mascara. And I go through the... I'm just using the um, viewfinder on the... To, to, the iPad to do this. <laughs> it's not an iPad. I don't have an iPad anymore. It's um, a Samsung Galaxy tablet. That I got for my birthday. So little strokes like that. I would normally do this in a bigger mirror, but I wanted you to see. Little strokes, little strokes. The colour is good, it's quite fair. And then all oh, I always brush. Okay, so that is just a pencil. Let's see what's going next. Okay, guys, so the next thing I'm going to try, Essence again, I just I love Essence products, especially for brows. Um, this is a brow mascara. Blonde the same again. Let's get my brush. I've taken the other uh, off, obviously, the pencil off. And I would say as well, if you've got a very moisturising foundation on and it's very tacky around this area, if that's how you prefer to wear your foundation, 
Anything will be difficult to adhere to that as far as brows go anyway, I find. So this is a mascara, but it's a teeny tiny brush. You see, much, much smaller than mascara. Uh, you know, shadow mascara. And we're going to, I've got a bigger mirror here now, so I can see. And we're going to use the brush just as we would, you know, the spoolie. Sometimes I just shape it a bit more with the end. Because so I like the end to uh, tail off, you know. You need to keep it quite packed. Okay, now I don't need so much on this area. I need it on this area. That. Get my spoolie. Like that. Now you see, I find that to be a bit patchy there. I find that this mascara, lash mascara, uh, brown mascara, it's better if you want to define over the top of a pencil. I don't think it works terribly well, not on my eyes anyway. So that is the mascara, brow mascara on its own. That's number two, but you can see that, that it's a little bit perky there, isn't it? It doesn't run as smoothly, I think. But it's very good if you want to sort of um, put a little bit extra on, on top of a pencil. It's really good. Or a powder, it's really good. But I it doesn't work for me on its own. So, um, what's next? Okay, so the next thing we have is a powder. Now, this is in a little duo. This is an Avon one. You can see where it's gone kind of dense there where I've used it. I don't use the wax, um, but that's the powder. I do it the same way. What you need to do, I find you need to do with the powder. That's not exactly a great colour for me, um, but it's the only powder I've got at the moment. And I did want to share it with you. So we're going to spray the brush a little bit. Spray it all over the camera. <laughs> uh, that's a setting spray. That's my favourite setting spray. That's the Rimmel one. And then we just either side on that. And let's see now. So this is the powder. Very little I need here. You have to put it where you need it. But I need very little there because my brows are still quite good there. Well, you know, they grow there anyway. <laughs> and then we go down again. And, ooh, let's have a little bit more. I don't like the patchy bit. But this is what I mean. You can go over the top of this with the mascara. And you get a nice look. Get that shape. Okay, guys, so that's that. That's the powder. I didn't look at my eye bags when I lay you. I haven't slept well, can you tell? <laughs> I'm working on them so hard, they're so much better than they were. Okay. So that is the powder. And I have one thing left, let's check that out. Okay, so the last and fourth thing is a pomade. This is Essence again. And it's blonde again, so it's a better colour for me, really. Looks like this. Um, I like the Essence one because a lot of them for me dry up, but the Essence one's pretty good. So we put some on our brush like this. And 
Let's see here. This is this is my favorite. I think for color, I like this um, for color and the ease of it. I like the ease of it. I'm going to put this on the other eye as well. And then I want to show you just a little bit I put here. See, because they still grow there. And I'm way past the age of Instagram brows. <laughs> Not that I'd have done them anyway. Little bit patchy there, so just cut that up. So that's the the gel, uh, the pomade. So I'll show you what I mean. So that's the pomade. Now this is the mask the brow mascara and it's the same company and the same shade so i was saying you can go over the top so let's just see here now that just neatens that off so those two together just give a better look i think so and this one, so let's see what we think there, what do you think, is that looking a little bit sparse there, we can work on that, my eyebrows always have been the bane of my life guys, they've always been the thing that I find the hardest to do. So I thought I'd share that with you as well. And that's quite natural looking. I think that's quite a natural looking brow. Um, I'm not very keen on very heavy brows, but I can't have them any lighter because obviously I'd have two colored brows. <laughs> so I try to do them as um, light as I can to sort of fit in with my coloring and my own hair. So I hope you like that guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Again sorry about Saturday, I'll see you again on Thursday, please take care of yourselves. Bye guys, bye.